Mikkel M8S Pro L part two or three or something anyway it's I've been working it for ages it seems like ages and it's five minutes at least I've been twisting it backwards and forwards backwards and forwards backwards and forwards and it it just keeps getting ever so slightly looser but it's taking a lot of twisting off with this one the L and you see it's there's a there's a thing here uh, what's that? Oh, that's the uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth thing, probably. Anyway, that's just a bit higher and in the way in comparison to on the uh, the plus. So you can't twist quite as far left as you can right anti-clockwise as you can clockwise. So it's just a bit more awkward to get it off than it is with the plus. But it does come off eventually he says hopefully it's certainly moving a lot it's just when will it finally give up and say enough is enough well i hope it's soon because this is another part of this video and i'd rather it had finished with me winning there we go it's going it's going now you can feel it turning you can see it's just gonna go there we go and there we go okay so that's a good few minutes of messing around anyway as you can see it's got quite a thick wadge of uh, stuff on it and it hasn't covered the whole thing which may or may not be a problem but it's the thickness really that's the problem so finally got it off that took about five or ten minutes then you've got to use the edge of a card to clean it off so you scrape it away like that and you just keep doing it with the corner of the corner of the card and you can see it sort of comes off same on the chip keep scratching it and away, away and it comes off and when it's all come off both both sides then you've got a nice clean surfaces that you can clean up finally with some isopropyl alcohol or some proper chip cleaner if you've got any handy from your old cpu days from uh, building computers and then a lovely new cooler will go on and i think i'll use proper two-part epoxy because I'm pretty sure that that's going to be a hell of a lot better than it was with a bigger heatsink and uh, more mass, more f more thin area, and decent glue. And that should do the trick on what is actually an absolutely brilliant cheap box. Thank you very much.